kain lang sila sa labas na kasama buong pamilya ng two times in a year. Try din siyang maging construction worker. Who would ever thought na? And then... Videos that will make you wealthy and debt-free. Si Nas Daily, dating construction worker. Nako! Nako mga friendship. Alam nyo, super exciting tong episode natin na ito. Okay, bakit? I had a rare opportunity to be able to meet Nas. No? Tinawagan ako at na-invite ako sa isang private event. And I had a chance to, to talk to him and ask him some good money questions. But before we start, I'd just like to inform you, ang goal ng video na ito is to inspire you. Hope that you and I can pick up some good life lessons from his life. Okay, let's start muna with a Nas Daily. Uh, we often hear the word called Nas Daily na panood ko na yung video. Actually, ang real name niya is not Nas Daily. Ang real name is Nosair, okay? O Nosir, okay? Nosair Yassin. He's an Arab, the same time, Israeli vlogger. And na-popularize niya yung paggawa ng one minute video. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. Let us watch this. And here with me is that OG of definitely of blogging. And I've been following him ever since I was an infant. Okay. <laughs> so 50 years ago? <laughs> <laughs> no, he really inspired me actually. And whenever I watch that one minute video, as a matter of fact, TikTok was the one who stole his idea. Yes, TikTok stole our idea. But without further ado, let us welcome Nusher, or known as Mr. Nash Daily. Come on! Hi everybody, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I'm also a fan. Yeah, uh, Nash, I just like to ask. Definitely, uh, we've known your stories, your background. It's really such an inspiration to most Filipinos. But we want to know as Filipinos, how does a Nusher save money? How does Nusher save money? That's a good question. Uh, the number one tip to saving money is to not spend it. So I don't buy any clothes. I go shopping once a year and I just get two jeans and two shoes and that's it. So my t-shirts cost you know, $200 every year. Mm -hmm. So I don't spend money. I don't buy a car. I don't do crazy things. I don't have any objects in my life. The only thing I spend money on is a uh, house I live in mm -hmm. and, and that's pretty much it and the company. Wow, grabe naman talaga oh. Ay, ako nakaka-relate talaga ako diyan no? na talagang sinasabi niya the best way daw to save money is pag hindi tayo gumagastos ng malaki, di ba? Sa totoo lang, totoo 'yun eh. Ito 'yung realize ko and I hope you will take note, no. In my years of teaching and practicing, this is what I've realized. Money not spent is money additionally earned. Money not spent is money additionally saved. Ang perang hindi mo ginastos ay dagdag income at dagdag ipon mo. Agree? Kahit kasi sa totoo lang, ito lang mga kaiponaryo, kahit na malaki ang iyong income, pero malaki rin naman ang iyong expenses at gastos, eh wala pa rin. ba? Diba? So, that's the first lesson. Saka napansin ko talaga, wala siyang relo. Ako rin, wala rin ako relo. Naka-t-shirt siya, naka-t-shirt din ako. Parang medyo pareho kami. Hindi naman akong ano, lumilevel sa kanya. Pero I think we share the same values. And then, not only that, the next question that I asked him, si, syempre, napaka-inspiring ng buhay niya talaga eh. In terms of how he started, pumunta siya ng Amer America, siya so where did he get the inspiration in living a simple life? Yan ang tanong ko. Itong sagot. No, I, I didn't grow up with a lot of money. So I, I remember like my dad, you know, going 20 kilometers extra just to get a cheaper gas. You know, we, we went to restaurants like twice a year. We were not poor, but we were not rich. So we were very, very frugal. And I was taking care of my dad's finances. And I always, every month, I'm like, Dad, how that? You are in so much credit card debt. Like, what are you doing? Typical <laughs> din, no? Yung parang tayo mga Pinoy, no? Na talagang, may mga iba, hindi naman talagang sobrang hira, pero hindi rin sobrang yaman. The mere fact, ha, nung sinabi niya, that kumakain lang sila sa labas na kasama buong pamilya ng two times in a year. You know, we, we went to restaurants like twice a year. Two times in a year. Imagine mo, yung parang ano, nakapag Jollibee ka lang ng two times in a year na kasama pamilya mo. Eh kung ikaw nakakapag Jollibee ka pa, nakasama ng buong pamilya mo uh, two times a month or let's say once a month. Eh, in other words, mas maganda ka tayuan mo. Sa ang goal niya talaga is talagang matulungan ang kanyang pamilya rin. Yan nga yung pag-uusapan. Kaya nga, pinag-usapan na namin yung next question. Oh, sabi ko, Nusayer or Nas, oh, how much was your first income? First income was peach picking. I was picking peaches in the fields. And I was making 80 shekels a day, which is $20 a day. And my next job was construction worker. Pavements. Oh, really? I do pavements. Wow. Yeah, like physical, physical labor. I hated it. I hated it so much. My next job was a store manager. I was managing shops and t-shirts and stuff. 
And then my next job was software engineers. The minute I became a software engineer, I started making good money. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever thought in your life that you are going to earn the money that you're making right now? Yes. I always knew that win in the game of life, the number one most important thing is to have enough money. Mm -hmm. A minute you have enough money, you can do a lot of things. You can go crazy after. So I knew that I didn't want to live the life that I saw around me. Mm -hmm. And so my number one priority was become financially free. Who would ever thought? Na? And then after that, nag manager na store. And then finally, nung naging software engineer na siya, eh doon na siya kumita ng maayos. At kung napapansin nyo, lalo na yung mga millennials o zillennials, Gen Z na nanood, I think you should also go to the same process. Maraming tayong tinatawag na trial and error, no? During the time of finding yourself and finding your calling in life. Di ba, hindi naman yung first job niya, nakuha na niya ang gusto niya, eh. hindi naman niya alam na magbablog siya. Eh. Di marami siyang proseso na pinagdadaanan. Katulad kung may ikaw, may pinagdadaanan kang proseso ngayon sa buhay na hindi mo alam saan ka ba talaga, paano ka magiging successful just be patient at the end of that day. So ngayon, nung kumikita na siya malaki, ang next question ko naman eh, eto, marites tayo. Saan mo naman ini-invest ang pera mo? I save money by always investing it. And every time I invest money, I lose money. But, <laughs> I know it's bad. Mm -hmm. But at least, I don't like to keep money in cash. Mm -hmm. Because cash is disappearing every single dollar will become zero mm -hmm. in 100 years. Yeah. I try not to keep cash and I put all my money in stocks, mm -hmm. real estate, mm -hmm. and, and crypto. crypto. Yeah. He doesn't keep money in cash because money will disappear. Not literally, pero ang ibig sabihin niya, you depreciate ang pera because of the inflation and everything, more or less around 10 to 15% interest per annum. So in 10% times 10 years, that's 100% na devaluated ng pera natin. Kaya nga sinasabi niya, saan siya naka-invest? Sa stocks, di ba? Sa business niya, at syempre naman, yun, 5% daw sa cryptocurrency. Nakikita po natin na kailangan matuto rin po tayo to learn how to diversify. Ang ginawa po ni Nusayer, okay, he diversified his what? Investment. At pinapalago niya. Again, the goal of money is not to keep the money in the account, savings account, but the goal of money is for you to grow your money. I'm always scared of poverty. Okay. I'm very, very scared. So I, I feel poor all the time. I found that the most successful people are the ones that look at what society is doing and they do the opposite. Thank you very much for watching this uh, episode and I hope that you are encouraged and enlightened. Tatandaan, ang pagyaman po ay napag-aaralan. This is Shinkitan saying, to every problem, there's always a solution. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. Always think positive. Bye! Thank you for watching. If you want to suggest a topic or review that you would like me to discuss on the next video, please do comment below para mabasa po namin. Thank you very much and I'll see you on our next video.